Hi. 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 Why do you always go and know where you go? <laughs> okay. I've got lipstick on this too right here now. Yeah, you do. Fuck! I am Isis Mirage. And I am Coco Ferocia. Yes, and we're back again this week through the portal and dimensions and demons and such things that you have become familiar and synonymous with us <laughs> to bring you <laughs> another review of RuPaul's Drag Race All Signs. Important this week because it's the Snatch Game. Yeah, we had to come. So, we had to come let y'all have it this week. Yeah. So as far as this episode, the Snatch Game, the first thing I guess we want to talk about is the note in the workroom, the throwback to like the season three. Shandra wanna like roll up on the note that Trixie had put in her thing, but Shangela called her a what? A, a what? A bitch. Like, what did she say? A bitch. Fuck that bitch. What did she say? <laughs> Wait, Doji said... Fuck that shady bitch. Yeah. Okay. And this is a throwback to season three, how? Because it's the, like, mess. The, like, mess of Shangela that she ain't gonna take nobody's shit. And that, in, in my mind, Shangela don't give a fuck about no motherfucking... That she called her shady bitch. What Shangela sees as an opportunity... To give a moment. I, uh, listen, I can't figure out if, the, if that's really what or it is. Or maybe she's in her purse. But regardless, it's a throwback to that. The drama. Drama. The, like, drag race, like, moments that we live for and have lived for over the years, you know? Over the okay, I get what you're saying. You're saying it's like a Nancy Drew moment. You're yeah, saying like, it's, it's like, a whole, like, like, the tool. You're saying that Shantula <laughs> is in... The show, she's on, the red light's on, Thank her you. red light is on, Thank everyone's you. on. She knows what worked for her, mm -hmm. and whether or not it's offensive to her, I think she's going to take her moment, and, and I'm yeah, just going to say that I'm glad to have Shantra back on TV, mm -hmm. and creating see, these this, moments. This is how you do the, I suppose if you want to say, the bitch role, or you know, whatever. Yeah. This is how you, like... Spice it up in the show, keep it interesting, you know, and not take drama to that next level. I feel why like she's Trixie keep putting it juicy. up? She is, but then at the same time, why also is Trixie putting up like fuck this shady bitch, and then you roll up and you read fuck this shady bitch, and then it's your name? How you feel? Like I'd be like, oh, okay, wow, like my name, like me, and you put that up there, like you tried it. Like Trixie was shook when Shangela came. She was. You know, she was thinking a little As, shook. She, she wasn't ready. Like, she watched that season with what? the rest of us, and she wasn't ready for that, like, yeah. IRL. No. No, <laughs> no would anyone be. I don't know how much I, I buy mean, that Trixie. Just thought it was a nice letter from Thorgy. Like, it doesn't need to be about, like, the fans attacking each other. Do not attack my fans, bitch. Like, well, you, know what what I mean? seen, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like... It's not that like hateful, like oh maybe it is. Maybe if, the, if maybe anyone, people... how, hold on. If anyone heard the spray, it's the plug it in, <laughs> plug it in. I was just listen, just to get you in my room. You'll be embarrassed because <laughs> the room smells nice and you know, we got the spray rock and roll like automatic. I don't need to be here like No, I'm trying to advertise anything, other products are available. So yeah, you know, it's nice to see drama unfold without it being extra and Toxic. you know nothing really worthy of people getting in their bag about it yeah i don't think but then some of the drag race fans find a way with <laughs> fucking everything <laughs> don't they? yeah so moving on to the main event honey snatch game this snatch game went you know well it was okay you know it was okay it wasn't my favorite it wasn't my least favorite how about that and um, <laughs> definitely want to talk about Aja, Crystal Abasia. I've yeah. been seeing that around a lot. A lot of people, like, gave her her 10. Yeah. So, familiarity, familiar, familiarity. <laughs> Sis. Fam wait. Sis. Familiar. What is the word? Familiarity. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What oh is the way when you're familiar with parody? <laughs> you're a mess. So, it's good for the people who weren't familiar with 
crystal like just say talk sis. <laughs> <laughs> just say talk like <laughs> It's good for the people that weren't familiar with Crystal Labasia yes. to be put on via the young Arjas, gen, like the very like you know Crystal. these new drag race like fan base. Aja killed the Crystal look. Even if you're confident, I would still be nervous because that's Crystal Labasia. Yeah, that's Crystal Labasia. You know, like you want to do that right. And I have to say, I do feel like she did it like nice. She made it nice, <laughs> okay? She made it nice, and I'm here for it. And I feel like Aja, having been someone who has spoken about having been through racism in the drag scene in her life, like, you know, yeah, relaying that or relating that to Crystal LaBeja, you know, I felt was empowering for her, for other people to, Absolutely. you know, learn about the situation. Yeah, and learn about what Crystal was talking about and what was going on with the situation. Yeah, so if y'all haven't seen it, go watch it. Like, yes. Years later, that video has, like, stood strong as, you know, like, an example yeah, to for future like, generations to someone even how people that were feeling in that time how people were being treated in that time yeah. and you know we'll link to the video you need to go watch it tends to Asha for you know bringing Putting that back on. out there and yeah. you know making it relevant again and making Crystal LaBeja relevant again because I've been seeing so many posts lately about Crystal LaBeja mm. bringing the video back you know people talking in interviews about Crystal so I think that is great of Asha and that's dope and tense Bitch. We need to definitely say Shangela with uh, Jennifer oh Lewis. Oh my god, love. Like I knew from Jump, like it was just gonna be good. She was just... Shangela and Jennifer Lewis, if y'all follow Shangela, y'all know that they are just a couple of little bosom buddies. <laughs> yeah. Just absolutely like rubbing off on each other all the time. And I feel like it's for her to be able to do that. Like she was feeling it like, let me roast my friend right now like not yeah. like let me do it in person like let me roast this bitch who I know like and I just wish that we could have seen more because I feel like she was like thriving in it and like just it bitch and thank god she did not do the Miss Cleo that sounded really Miss Irish. Irish Miss Cleo yes bitch and Ru I heard it too <laughs> Ben Delacrim doing the man shit in drag or whatever listen do whatever the fuck you want to do in drag do whatever the fuck you want to do in drag. Hello. Do whatever the fuck you want to do in drag. Yep. You know? That's how I feel. As far as the runway look, we saw like two seconds of... Why was the runway look so past. short, you guys? The flower runway was cute. I do wonder which one of them smelled a little not so rosy, though. Because that's the, where the, the comedy comes in. Everyone looked really good and it was flowers and fresh and everything. But you, you know there that, had to be that one flower. bitch with the, with the, with the stank. <laughs> the stash. corpse flower. The corpse flower. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm you know, saying. Here. I'm here all week. Uh, <laughs> Angela looked good doing her Beyonce gig. I thought that was a very good idea. Yeah. Um, Candy Davenport with her one eye. Not much going on here. You know moments here, symmetry and things. Trixie Mattel. That was nice. Yeah, Aja. everyone looked good. Like, flowers is such a good theme. So, Shangela and Bento Creme won the Snatch Game. And with that, you know, they had to pick somebody, which meant that obviously Trixie got mad nervous because she's looking at Shangela like, you're going to try it. Yeah, and, they um, framed that whole thing. Like, they framed the whole episode like Trixie was gonna go home. And that's how you knew that she wasn't gonna go home a little bit because it's like, stop trying to play with me. And yeah. even Shangela at the end of that runway was like, <laughs> trying it. Yeah. Shangela played the whole fucking thing like she was looking at a picture of Trixie Mattel and then sent home Chi Chi. Ben tried. To, to go with it with that song. She did. They wanted I to recreate feel... a Raja common moment and it didn't happen. And Shangela made it was very clear that she was not gonna <laughs> let it. I'm surprised Shangela, like, she damn near bopped her at this point. Oh, yeah. And also, stop trying to recreate common and Raja because <coughs> that can't happen. You can never recreate nah, that. Nah, never gonna happen. So thank you everyone for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up button. Let a bitch know you're here. Yeah. Leave your comments and your thoughts and opinions yeah. and everything. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Social media. 
down below the whole thing that you can like turn on notifications i don't even know how that works but you can do that if you want to do that we love you bye 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 bye